those selfless, whatever they're gonna do, um, whether it's for Torch or other organizations in town, they're always right there at the forefront and not doing it for the honor, they're not doing it because they want their name on the plaque, they're just doing it because they really wanna help build Houston and build the Jewish community. You don't have to ask Shelley and Linda to give of their time. They lead by example uh, with their time and with their resources in, in many ways. They really have brought other people from lots of walks of life within the community, into the community, under the tent. Shelley had come to us with an idea to start a Maimonides Society, a society for Jewish physicians in the Houston community. And that was over 25 years ago, and today it's still a, an integral part of um, the Houston Jewish community. Shelley is someone who has ideas, insights, wisdom that flows from his feelings about the text, about his heritage, about his shul. When I'm around Shelley, I'm usually smiling. He's all business and he's a riot, uh, uh, but you gotta be ready for his humor. If you're a patient of Shelley's, uh, he's adopted you. He is gonna take good care of you uh, and see you through whatever treatment or care regimen that, uh, that you're required to have. As I look at Linda and um, think about her being honored tonight, I know that it's her beauty, it's her outreach, her love of her family and friends and the community that really um, wraps up and says what Linda is, the fine person that she is. When I first met Linda about 25 or 30 years ago, she had a million clocks in her house and she would repair clocks. If your clock broke, you could bring it to Linda and she would fix it. This clock that Linda made for me is a fantastic clock. She's been very active at Congregation Beth Yashurin. She was uh, chair of the Education Committee. She was chair of Adult Activities. And she also, as she brought up her children, attends the synagogue all the time. I really admire Linda very much. She's very active in Houston. She's the founding member of the Mark Chagall chapter of Hadassah here. And she's on the chapter board, which is the citywide board. One thing that Linda does very much, and that is that she's um, a member of Hufford Kadisha, which I think is a very difficult job, but a very rewarding job, and I admire her very much for that work. We're really thrilled to have been part of Torch since they came here 10 years ago. We've attended programs over the years, some of them have really made a significant impact on our lives. In particular, uh, I was very impressed with their Bridging the Gap seminar, which talked about uh, overcoming religious observance differences in families. Another very powerful program was the Discovery Seminar, and after participating in that, it really opened my eyes and changed my eating habits forever, getting rid of a lot of tray food that um, I no longer eat. Another nice outcome is uh, our kitchen has become very um, kosher and we just had it remodeled and we have two of everything, two stoves, two dishwashers, two um, sinks and it's much easier to keep the kosh root in there and it's really been a direct result of our affiliation with Torch. It's been a really meaningful part of our lives. I too would like to thank Torch for honoring us with the Houston Jewish Spirit Award and I am particularly grateful to all of our friends who've come here to share this tremendous honor with us. Torch has made a huge difference in my life as well. I recall the day nearly 10 years ago when Eitan Merweis told me about the Kolel coming to Houston. I asked if they would be interested in studying Jewish medical ethics, and it turns out they were, and we've been studying every Wednesday since that time. Wednesday has become a highlight of my week, and I look forward to studying with Rabbi Grossman every Wednesday. In addition, it's been so delightful to see how Torch has grown, how they've achieved financial stability, the number of rabbis participating in Torch has grown tremendously, and they're reaching out to every aspect of the Jewish community. Finally, we're honored to call ourselves friends of Rabbi and Mrs. Grossman, with whom we recently traveled to Israel and had a tremendous experience seeing things we never would have 
otherwise seen and doing things we never would have otherwise done. Thank you all so much for coming and sharing this honor with us.